Okay, can everybody hear me? Bear with me, I'm actually sick right now, so. Okay, this poem's called Generation Next. Generation Next. The time of headphones in a teenage twilight zone. No listening. The popularity of the top charted artists drown out the worldly screens. The planet is crying out, but the sound just passes by a deaf generation. Kids today would rather drink in the poison of the media world, letting that sink into their lives. Last Friday night was not meant to end with a stranger in your bed. Where's your self-respect? Celebrities today endorsing bodily trauma, creating an array of unnecessary drama. You don't like your nose? Get a new one. Your face isn't pretty enough? You can fix that. Personalities are no longer real. Each person wears a mask to please a world that is immune to acceptance. Living a life with no purpose, speaking words with no meaning, living as nothing more than a lifeless human being. Who are you gonna wear tomorrow? Getting to pick and choose who or what you wear, donning a costume, hiding the creations that God, our Heavenly Father, created. People becoming obsessed with earthly treasures, starving themselves of the joy that he would want them to know, and choking on the concept of love. But since man lives in a world of evil and sin, evoking pain in others is part of life as well. People cut off the young man that doesn't understand why he's attracted to the same sex, making his life overly complex. Humanity passes quick judgment, suffocating those in need of salvation. One sin be no greater than another, whether it's taking a candy bar or killing a brother. Missing the mark means you're missing the mark. And today, corporate can give you countless hours of therapy, trying to get you to analyze your problems, making you prioritize what they deem important. And today, also, kids turn to drugs and alcohol because a quick fix is better than dealing with the harsh reality where everyone just LOLs to make everything seem okay. But it's not. He knows. He knows what you need. Just lay it at his feet. Your hard life can be over, the devil can be beat. You can live a life that's joyous and free, and I know Jesus can save you because he saved me. So here's the question. Generation next, are you going to be an army of one or an army for one?